looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. This week, we had Chef James to come on and speak to us about pluck. And I thought it was amazing information, an amazing product. And if you haven't listened to it, make sure to go back and listen to it because it is so good. Um, And in regards to organ meat, I thought it would be fun to do calf exercises today. So what we are going to do are calf raises. And a calf raise is also known as a releve. It is where you are standing with your feet about hip distance apart. And you're just going to lift those heels up, rising up onto your forefeet and your toes, the ball of the foot, and then come back down again. You can do this with your feet facing forward. You can turn your feet out to the side, but what you're going to do is pump your heels up and down while you are standing up, working on strengthening those calf muscles. And I recently read an article by Katie Bowman where she talks about these valves that we have in our legs. So she kind of says the calf is uh, the second heart. And what she describes is that when you are out moving around, you know, you've got your heart pumping, but you have these little valves in your blood vessels that help to ensure that that blood keeps flowing back up towards the heart rather than pooling down at the feet due to gravity. So you have these little valves that pump the blood back up as the blood is pumping from your heart. So think about it, you know, that it's just pushing along to go back up towards the upper extremities and the heart. And how do you get these valves to, I mean, they're always working, but to keep them strong and working well for you, you need to make sure that you are moving your legs to help them pump. So she recommends the calf exercise, which is what I have you doing today, but You can do any form of exercise where you're using your legs. So think like going out for a walk or even when you're sitting in a chair, you can be doing like little ankle pumps where you're just pointing and flexing your feet or circling your ankles. These are going to help keep that blood flowing, moving properly through those legs. So As always, the key is to help you just start moving more, thinking outside of the box, how can we move our body in little ways to help ensure that we are living a healthier life um, and moving through different positions. So this week, in addition to calf exercises, you can practice your calf exercises whenever, wherever, while you're making dinner, while you're standing in line at the grocery store, while you are working at your desk, you know, if you have a day job where you're working at a desk and then you go and you stand up and down. If you have a little one and you're putting them in your crib, every time you go to put them in the crib, you can do 10 exercise or, you know, 10 calf raises or pulling them out of the crib. You can do 10. You can do this with anything while your children are in the bath. Any time, depending on what your life is, I understand we're all at different stages in our life. So 
I'm providing you the exercise and I want you to think about how you can utilize it in your everyday life. Remember, habit stacking is always a great way. So find one thing that you do every day that would allow for you to do these calf raises. Make sure, if you haven't listened to the episode 39.2, it is another movement snack where we are talking about getting ready for the day because I mentioned in there calf stretches. So if we're going to do calf stretches, raises calf exercises we have got to also ensure that we are stretching them out so make sure to stretch them out after you've done them on a daily basis and then find different ways to move those legs ankles feet throughout the day to also help and that is it that's your movement snack This is something for you and your children and family to do. Make sure that they are a part of it as well. And let's make sure that we are all out moving more. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day. Oh, 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 oh